Hello, Job Progress subscribers. Wanted to give you an updated look at macros in Job Progress. Uh, the good news is that macros really should be called smart macros now. Um, they're full featured, um, definitely turbocharged in terms of capabilities. So, what is a macro? Basically, a macro is a set or a bundle of materials and labor and pricing that you would combine in a package or a bundle um, so that when you're creating estimates and you're creating pricing um, and you are going in to create um, different um, costs for a job, you can do so without having to, um, to um, individually choose those items. Let me give you a look at some macros that have been created for a company, which is our sample company. This is a roofing macro, which um, has all the associated um, materials that are pulled from the material library, all the associated labor that uh, this particular contractor uh, wants to keep track of with regards to their bundle when selling their uh, roofs uh, in a per square basis. Um, activities, miscellaneous, could be fees, finance charges, anything that you would want to attach to a quote unquote macro or bundle. Um, it's effectively uh, done here. Another thing that we do with our macros these days is um, we enable you to um, use these macros in any of your worksheets. And so these are macros. Now, why did I say macros are now smart macros? Well, it's great because what we are doing now is we are allowing you to, when creating a macro, we are uh, enabling you to convert a conversion factor to each of the materials or labor or whatever it may be, so that if you wanted to apply a measurements tool, so let's just say you go in here, you can actually calculate based on your inputs like say for example 200 feet of ridge or 150 feet of hip or valley or a waste factor of 10 percent you can predefine here what um your macro uh, um, material is and then you could times that by the waste factor and when you're using the macro it attaches it to our material measurements tool and it automatically comes up with a price. So we're calling macros smart macros these days. Let me show you what it's like to actually use a macro in a particular worksheet. So you go here into um, estimating and you would go in and create an estimate for any reason very quickly. Everything I'm doing is also available through the mobile app as well. You might wanna do a roofing and a siding um, worksheet. So let's go ahead and make a tier here. And let's call the first tier roofing. Let's add another tier and let's call that tier siding. For the roofing tier, let's go ahead and add a macro. We're gonna add a roofing macro in here. As you can see, it then pre-populates everything for you. Now, all you would have to do is go around and measure the house or order an eagle view and it'll pre-populate the prices. This is how easy it is to use a macro in job progress. Um, I know that you might have some more questions about macros. Do me a favor, call one of our contractor success managers. We're always here to help you. We're looking forward to having you employ the power of macros, smart macros in your business today.